Ovarian cancer normally presents in a very vague manner. Um, unfortunately, four out of five of women with ovarian cancer presents quite late because the symptoms are very variable from early satiety, alteration in the bowel habit or some urinary symptoms, weight loss, night sweats. And often these patients get labeled to have other benign condition like irritable bowel syndrome. We know ovarian cancer patients present quite late. And even though people say ovarian cancer is a silent killer, I still believe that ovarian cancer symptoms could be taken into consideration seriously if you pay attention as a clinician. I do believe ovarian cancer whispers. So if you pay attention to the detail of the symptoms of your patient, you might suspect this earlier. Having said that, most patients still present quite late. And unfortunately, four out of five of patients with ovarian cancer present in late stage. Ovarian cancer is diagnosed by different uh, imaging modalities. The most common imaging tool is ultrasound scan and a blood test, which is called a tumor marker. And in ovarian cancer, it is called CA125. So in the primary setting, we perform ultrasound scan and a CA125, and then we calculate what we call a risk of malignancy index. If that is deemed to be high, then we will organize a CT scan of the patient's chest, abdomen and pelvis, which is a more sophisticated imaging modality, and it will tell us more about the nitty gritty of what is happening. Ovarian cancer is normally aggressive because it's diagnosed quite late, but earlier stage ovarian cancer could be effectively treated by the combination of surgery and chemotherapy. Having said that, patients are different. We have different tumor biologies and different responses to chemotherapy and surgery. But the key and the main thing is to be able to diagnose or make a diagnosis at the earliest stage. The advanced ovarian cancer still is treatable. Um, the intention of treatment might differ from patients to patients. Intention could then become palliative, but the ovarian cancer in advanced stage will be treated with a more radical operation known as ultra radical debulking when the surgeon with a special interest in gynecology oncology will aim to achieve what we call no residual disease, also known as R0, and then chemotherapy. If the cancer is advanced, patients might get chemotherapy first. We call that new adjoint chemotherapy. And the patient who are chosen to be on new adjoint chemotherapy pathway will then have what we call IDS, which is interval debulking surgery, followed by more chemotherapy. The single independent risk factor for survival in ovarian cancer is leaving no cancer cells behind, but being more specific in choosing the right chemotherapy and management in a multidisciplinary environment would improve the outcome. The, the treatment for ovarian cancer has evolved in the last two decades. One of the reasons is that the treatment are undertaken and carried out in dedicated cancer centers led by gynecological and oncological surgeons who are trained to do ultra radical surgery for ovarian cancer. And also very much new science in, in, in the new era of chemotherapy. We have patients who are now offered and treated with a more sophisticated chemotherapy regimes and protocol. On the other side, that there are many colleagues uh, who are clinician scientists working in the lab trying to understand more about the tumor biology and provide the patients with more integrated treatment customized to the patient itself. 